You want bigger biceps? Already covered. You want bigger triceps? Already covered. But the three hacks I'm going to share with you today are going to complete the trifecta of gains. Hey, my eyes are up here, bro. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, as always, if you want the tips to keep coming and you want the videos to stay short and sweet, make sure you subscribe and give that like button a good smash to not only support the channel, but help boost the YouTube algorithm. All right, three chest hacks to get you on your way to double D's gains. A big chest just sets the tone whenever you enter a room. And I'm not ashamed or embarrassed to compliment a man who has a Herculean chest. In fact, I just complimented someone today. Clearly, it wasn't Ricky. Oh yeah, guess who can bench 315 though? Me. I can. So, if you're ready, pop a pre-worky and let's jump right into hack number one. Focus on keeping all the tension in your chest on every exercise. Now, this might sound self-explanatory, but it's really not. A lot of guys end up bringing a lot of shoulders and triceps into their chest movements, either because their form is off, or they're trying to lift a bit too heavy and can't effectively focus on their chest when training. Now, remember that the chest functions to push forward, like when bench pressing, but the chest also is activated during the adduction of the humerus. But how do we apply this knowledge to every chest exercise? Well, it's actually very easy. Number one, no matter what exercise you're doing, whether it's a barbell bench press, dumbbell bench press, or even a standing cable fly, you need to retract and depress your shoulder blades. This will not only protect your shoulders, but allow you to focus on activating your chest as much as possible. Number two, as you press your dumbbells while benching or bring your arms forward on a chest fly, make sure you bring your hands together as close as you can to place emphasis on the adduction of the humerus to completely maximize chest activation on every rep. However, when it comes to cable flies, there's always a debate as to whether or not you should cross your hands at the top of the movement Personally, I don't do this all that often because I don't think it makes that much of a difference. But on the flip side, you can only do this with cables because if you tried with dumbbells, you'd end up most likely failing on the exercise. So if you want to take advantage of the cables and cross your arms at the top of the movement, you aren't doing anything wrong. Just see how you feel and if you like it, add it to your routine from time to time. As for barbell exercises, obviously we can't add up at the top of the movement but we can create inward pressure on the barbell with our hands, which will activate more of the chest as we press. However, I suggest lowering the weight a bit when you first try this, so you can truly focus on squeezing the barbell and creating that inward pressure effectively. Hack number two, superset push-ups with your presses. This is by far one of my absolute favorite chest training hacks. In my teenage training days, I would go to failure on push-ups after every set of every chest exercise on my high volume days. I was an animal, and as I got stronger, I would switch it up from traditional push-ups to incline push-ups, medicine ball push-ups, or I would even bring my own push-up bars to the gym to make my push-ups more intense. How old are those? Did like Arnold Schwarzenegger give you those? Put it this way, if these things had could talk and had seniority, they'd make more money than you. <laughs> <laughs> it's also good to keep in mind that if you're pushing yourself hard enough on your working sets, you should fail after about 12 to 15 push-ups when you superset them in. So when you're able to do more than 12 to 15, that's when you should introduce the harder variations of the push-ups. And the third and final hack, add another chest day to your week. Guys, if your chest isn't growing and you are 100% sure you're hitting it as hard as you can on your workouts, the only other way to start seeing more growth is to add a second chest day. All it takes is about two days for your chest to recover to be able to hit it again. So if Monday is chest day, you'll be ready to go again on Thursday. This will help you take advantage of multiple growth periods and is a great way to bring up any lagging body part. Yes, overloading and adjusting your sets and reps and your rest periods in your workouts is super important as well. But sometimes the answer is as simple as adding more chest training volume throughout the week. Now, I currently train with a traditional bodybuilding split program, and I have one day a week where I just focus on abs. And I designed the program this way so that if I wanted to work on a lagging area, for example chest, I could place that extra volume on my abs day and still be in and out of the gym within 60 to 90 minutes. 
So if you guys would like to try my bodybuilding split program for free, you can get it right here by clicking this link. And if you want more quick tips to take your gym training to the next level, I've got a great playlist of videos right here for you to check out as well. Have a great day, guys. Don't forget the article version of this video is in my pinned comment below. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.